This is a quick video guide to demonstrate how to download and install the new PanelPilot Ace Design Studio Beta, which has just gone live on the PanelPilot website. Um, so to find the file, you need to go to the download section of the site, and we have here the the actual release version, and then the second one down is the the public beta. So just click on that, um, and click to download here, and that should start bringing it up here so you can see down here I'm on Chrome and that's going to download over the course of the next few minutes. Now just to speed things up here I've actually downloaded it beforehand so um, that has gone into the download section of my PC. So you can see it appears here um, in the downloads section as a zip file PPA 1.1.0.2277 so this is a zip file, we're going to just double click on that, open it up and then rather than clicking to install it, um, we're just going to drag this over here to a folder that I've created on the desktop um, labelled PPA Beta, Panel Pilot Ace Beta. So we're just going to put that over and that will extract all of that, um, those files into that folder. that's done. So I now double click on that. Now this file here is the device software. I'll show you in a moment just how to upgrade that. Um, but the file that we need to click to actually run the software um, and there isn't actually an installation process so this isn't going to affect your existing install of the, the Panel Pilot Ace Design Studio. Um, so I'm going to just double click on this. Trust the, um, the file. and that is the new version of the software so I'll just talk very quickly through a couple of the new features that we've added <coughs> uh, we have here a mathematics builder which is something that a lot of people have been asking us for this allows you to very quickly build up expressions so I can choose to um, do a multiplication on a an input or uh, do or even um, divide or add a, a number of different things together. Um, the other thing that we've added is serial RS-232 interfacing and you can see down here we've got the RS-232 receive, send, um, error checking and then the hardware integration is here on the serial COM port. Um, rather than going into detail about that I'm just going to show you quickly now how to um, upgrade the device software. So your SGD43A um, won't currently um, work with the projects created in this beta version of the software. What we need to do is upgrade the device software. So I've just connected um, my SGD43A in and you can see it's appeared up here on the top hand side of the, the screen. So if I click on this menu option and then down here there's an upgrade device software. Now, within that file that we just downloaded from the website, there is this PPSW file, which is the new device software file. So I just click open to that, <coughs> upgrade the software, and that's just going to update the hardware, uh, the, sorry, the software running on the hardware or the display um, so that we can take advantage of the mass functionality, the RS-232 and so on. And the device will um, reboot at this stage and will then be ready to, to work um, with our new beta version of the software. Um, really interested to hear any feedback on the software. Um, these are features you guys have been asking for and um, obviously we've implemented them as best we can. They're not fully tested yet um, but we've been using them for a few weeks and um, so any serious errors should be should be out there but we expect you guys will find the odd things. Similarly if you feel that they could be imp implemented in a different way um, please let us know. Um, we've still got time to tweak these before we um, put them into a full release version in the next few weeks. Alright, thanks very much.